again, Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Off the Board. This is a monthly series that is put together by Crystal over at Pineapple Papers where everybody goes to their Pinterest page and chooses something that they have pinned and use it. It is also a Christmas in August, which is why I've chosen this pin. And the Christmas in August is a monthly hop put together by my dear lovely friend Moira, where everyone in the hop creates something Christmassy, finishes a project or starts something new. So I am once again using my Coco Vanilla Studios Merry and Bright collection. And I have used this all year long for this series. So I am hopeful to continue to use it um, to finish out the series of last year's Christmas. I do have enough photos to make it to December 25th of 2021. So we'll see. I'm going to take this photo of my son. Um, they made fun of me all day, you guys, for being like the Christmas elf and way too jolly and wanting everybody else to be jolly and like, don't you ruin Christmas type things. And we were opening presents and my son was making fun of me and he made this face and I snapped this picture and he might murder me in my sleep if he ever sees it. Just saying. I take this fabulous star paper and trim um, a quarter of an inch off each side because I want to, not a quarter, I think a half, I, I lied, a half an inch off each side. And I am going to mat it on this um, craft colored card stock. And that is by close to my heart. And I also matted my photo in it as well. Now I'm gonna take my one inch and my three fourth inch circle punch. And I am going to pull out all the scraps that I have left over. Normally, I don't save the scraps. Uh, unless I still have the collection and I still have the collection. So once all my 12 by 12 pattern papers are gone and I no longer have full sheets, all of these small scraps get recycled and the big ones go into the scrap bin that I forget to use and end up recycling in several years. Just being honest with you guys. <laughs> so I punched those all out, arranged them um, off screen and now I'm going to come in and use liquid glue to glue them down just in case I need to move them. The only problem is you only have a few seconds with the art glitter glue to move things around. And you will see on that third row that I start moving and they're already dried. And I have to get my tweezers and like pull them back up. So while I'm getting this all assembled, I want to remind you that this layout is for two hops today off the board. And I will have every lovely that is playing along linked mm -hmm. down below. And also, it's a Christmas in August, so I will have everyone playing along with that one as well, linked down below. Don't forget to go check them all out. Give them some love and see what they were inspired to create. Uh, so yeah, I'm just coming in. I do even have some, I bought the specialty paper as well, uh, which is that gold glitter. And it is beautiful, and it does not rub off, and that is like super fabulous for me and if you guys hear a noise in the background i'm sorry b is we are in my bedroom doing voiceovers today and she is demanding belly rubs and every time and every once in a while i hit i hit the good spot and her leg starts kicking <laughs> but if i don't pat her she's gonna whine and then you guys are gonna hear because you know my my pity pit bull here is She's needy. She needies to be loved. Yes. So she's chilling with me on the bed. Um, at least she's not snoring today, right? So I am going to take that fabulous foam star and use that as, well, the star of the tree. So I do You just use some liquid glue and glue that down. I'm going to create the three banners at the top using these little labels that come off the cut apart sheets. And I'm going to fishtail them. Um, I'm going to adhere. <laughs> oh, bless you. That was my dog. She sneezed. <laughs> um, I'm going <laughs> to... Oh, train of thought gone. But I'm going to tell you what has been going on with me today, right? This is like the ninth time I've done this voiceover. Because my editing software, I don't know if it's because it was plugged in. I have no idea. But it would not... It would play my voice for like 30 seconds and then the rest of the video that I actually had already talked through was nothing but dead silence. So I am not stopping the video for anything at this point. We are going with the voiceover. And I've done like five videos and none of them took. Yes, that's my life. 
So I'm going to take the Brutus Monroe foam tape and just get that so that I can pop this picture up. We get that stuck at a nice little angle. You see me trim all those little banners down. I do take these cute little holly berries. I'm going to stick one right to the picture. And the next one I'm going to pop up on some foam tape as well and layer it up over those um, labels. I do want to have a tree trunk, so I'm going to use a three word phrase um, die cuts just to create that. And I did pull in the black because my son has a lot of black, so I just wanted to represent that somewhere else in the layout. And then I'm going to take my very last flare. Oh, it's so sad. Um, it's a button flare, so I go ahead and use some liquid adhesive. And I'm going to tuck that in up with the label as well. And that is pretty much going to do it for today's layout. Do not forget to go check out all the fabulous ladies and men that are playing along with both of today's hops. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye.